Uh, assembly member, Miss O, how are you? Mm. Certainly, I will try to comply with your request. If you allow me, there is something important to consider. First of all, I'm glad to hear that Jiju's government leaders, including yourself, are very, very passionate about halting climate change. The autonomy of the Jiju government and the proactive, pioneering spirit of your people is laudable. Perhaps uh, it's because you call yourself pristine Jiju province, that you put pride and love in your home's natural beauty, so you want to preserve and cherish it more. Jiju is blessed with an abundance of sunshine and wind. So I'm glad you have been expanding your sustainable energies like wind and solar power. This is going in the right direction. Bravo and bravo. And uh, I personally <laughs> humbly encourage you and your fellow citizens to continue in this way. But uh, if I may point out, if the goal is to be a truly carbon-free society, we should consider all the major sources of greenhouse gases emissions. You see, we are emitting greenhouse gases not just through the fumes from factories, houses and cars, but also through the products that we choose to consume. Besides, CO2 is cancelled out by aerosols, which are released at the same time from burning fossil fuels. So, it means that even though we have CO2, but the CO2 also have been cancelled out by the aerosols at the same time. Even though aerosols are very detrimental to our health, they actually have a cooling effect that cancels out the CO2 heat in the atmosphere. So, up to now, the climate warming heat is not from CO2, is not from CO2. The warming climate problem is not from CO2. It's not from carbon dioxide. I repeat, it's not from carbon dioxide. It is from other sources, mainly methane. As I told our student friends earlier, at least 50% of total greenhouse gas emissions are coming from animal meat and dairy product. And it's not I who said this. It's all proven, researched, confirmed, and published by the top scientists of the whole world. If we only focus on the green energies, like solar panel, wind power, etc., it won't have much of an effect. I am so sorry to say. I have to tell you the truth because this is also my planet. Your island could be my residence in any time in the future. I might love your island. I might want to go there. <laughs> so, I want to protect your island. I want to protect my planet. So I have to tell you everything. Although I might offend somebody or I might not be very popular for doing this, but I have to tell you the truth. Because green energies is not an urgent uh, task for us to handle right now. Because green energy only tackle the effect of uh, maybe aerosol. CO2, which is not the urgent issue of global warming, the producer. The global warming effect comes from rising livestock, from animals. So if we continue on the green energy, then uh, we don't have much an effect to stop global warming because the effectiveness will be cancelled out by the large amounts of greenhouse gases that we generate by consuming meat and a meat industry. Besides the livestock methane, that is responsible for the portion of the 50% of greenhouse gas emissions 
but 50% is still a low estimate, I would say 80%. There is also the burning of forest to make pasture land to grow food for the animals, and making the chemical fertilizer and pollution to grow the feed, the transportation involved, the constant refrigeration involved, etc., etc., and all the medical effects are the cause of the sickness of the people. Billions, trillions of dollars goes into the treatment of the people for meat-related disease. And it's not always even effective. It's not always even cure people permanently or perfectly even. Even we spend so much money and people have to go so much suffering, the disease are not always completely cured. Uh, in many cases, not at all. So people suffer, people die for nothing also, because of meat diet. So to produce uh, the meat for consumption, it costs us too much. It costs sorrow, it costs suffering, it costs trillions of dollars. All these add up to many more times. Uh, greenhouse gas emissions than all the world's transportation combined and apparently more than all the heavy industries and fossil fuel power stations combine even. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Fatal prion diseases transmissible through air or milk. Rabies, anthrax, sleeping sickness, Q fever, norovirus, swine flu, Ebola reston virus, Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella. Bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease or PMWS, Listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia. Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock, some of the costs of meat eating, infertility, eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32% with additional meat consumption increasing the risk, heart disease, over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least one trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, increased childhood cancers and adult reproductive cancers from hormones in meat. Colon rectal cancer, over one million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth uses up to 43% of the world's cereal, uses up to 85% of the world's soy, cause world hunger and wars, 80% cause of global warming, plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption, cowpox from milking cows, bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance. 
plus more. For help quitting, please visit. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers.